Graceo, welcome. I'm Francis Hunt from the Further Mathematics Support Program in Wales. My Mathemategi Balb. Mathematics is for everyone, and on the screen you can see mathematicians from all sorts of backgrounds who are united by their desire to do maths. It's particularly appropriate as we enter Black History Month that we start this week with a look at the mathematician and computer scientist Catherine Johnson. Catherine Johnson was one of the first African-American women to work as a scientist at NASA, the North American Space Agency. In 1953, she joined the organization that became NASA. In her time there, she had to stand up against many of the prejudices of what others thought African-Americans, and in particular, an African-American woman could do and should do. She worked on calculating the trajectories of spacecraft, including that of John Glenn, who was the first American to orbit the Earth in his spacecraft, Friendship 7. The orbit of Friendship 7 was originally calculated by electronic computers, but John Glenn was unwilling to trust his life to them. He specifically asked that Catherine redo the calculations to check them before he was happy to go. Now, Catherine was born in West Virginia, so if you can see this map of the United States, the eastern coast of it here, the red dot is West Virginia where she was born. If you've been fortunate enough to go to Disney World in Florida, that's down here in Orlando, and Washington is the capital of the US, which is about there. But she was born where the red dot is in West Virginia. She died at the age of 101 uh, in 2020. If you want to find out more about Katherine Johnson, then the 2016 Oscar nominated film Hidden Figures, I found an enjoyable watch that gives a good flavour of her life. Here are some figures familiar to Katherine Johnson. When it checking answers in maths, it's useful to know approximate sizes. So here are some approximate sizes of things in the solar system. So the circumference of the Earth is 40,000 kilometers. That's not a coincidence since when the French invented the meter, they wanted there to be 10 to the power of seven meters between the equator and the North Pole. She would also know that the radius of a geostationary orbit is approximately 40,000 kilometers too. What is a geostationary orbit? It is one where the satellite takes 24 hours to orbit the Earth. And since the Earth itself takes 24 hours to spin on its axis, the satellite appears to be stationary in the sky. This is useful for communication satellites, since the satellite dish can always point in roughly the same direction. Catherine would also know that the moon is about 10 times further away at roughly 400,000 kilometers. And the sun is about 400 times further away still. So there are a lot of fours here, which is just coincidence, but it does make it easier if you want to remember the numbers. Now, here is a solar system that Catherine would not be familiar with because we've just made it up, but it's a problem that you can have a go at if you like. So in planet Zog's solar system, there are also eight planets which take respectively one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Zog years to complete an orbit. They start in year naught in a straight line. In what year do they next again form a straight line? So that's a puzzle for you to think about if you wish. Finally, here are some links if you want to find out more. So if you want more about Katherine Johnson, you can have a look at her biography at the, the NASA site. Also on the NASA site are some educational resources that you can learn more about orbits from. 
If you want to see the trailer of the film Hidden Figures, that is available on YouTube with this link here. And also, if you want to explore some mathematical worlds, we have contributions from mathematicians around the world, including from America, on our website uh, at this link on the, at the bottom here. OK, well, that's all for this week. So I wish you all the best and we'll say bye for now.